Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow YouTubers. Welcome to another edition of Living Simply and Fun. I'm your host, Aries. This is Aaron. No, I'm not. <laughs> I kid. And that here's our mascot, Mopolo. Mopolo? Moppy. Moppy the dog. It's Mopolo, but he doesn't have his antlers today. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, our dinner tonight was uh, uh, Safeway Select Pizzas. Um, chicken bacon ranch. It didn't taste right. Yeah, there was something funny about it, but it still tasted pretty good. It just wasn't as good as it usually is for some reason. I think it's my stomach aches caused because I had to take my pill. I had coffee before I took, uh, while I took the pill, and then I had food afterwards, causing me to have some problems. So, uh, every night I swear I'm tired. <laughs> So, I guess that's because it's night. Anyways, it was a cheap meal. It was about $3.99 three a pizza, which was a little more expensive than what we usually do, but we don't do pizza too often. I know some people who do, like, DiGiorno every night. Come on, that's rather expensive to do that. It's not delivery. It's DiGiorno. We, we had a, uh, a doctor who's no longer working here, and I believe he's moved out of country. He did uh, Australia. He used to throw a fit about people's diets. Oh, there's too much sodium, too much fat. You need to cut this out. You need to cut that out. One time but we saw we a saw stack of pizza one time at the store like this. He had, a, he had about 15 to 20 pizzas in a shopping cart. Uh, that's all he had was pizza. It's like, yeah, you're going to complain about our diet, and look what the heck tunk you're eating. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I fired him, too. Yeah, he's the same doctor I caught smoking once before who also wanted to tell everybody to quit smoking that it was bad for them. Now, I, I've known a couple doctors like that. They have to, though. They're insurance. Uh-huh. So, anyways, uh, today uh, we were struggling for a topic, but I have one that's always been on my mind, and it might be a multi-parter. Uh, but we're not going to do it all in one day, multi-parts. We'll do multiple over several days. I mean, come on, we're doing this daily, so. Um, one of the thoughts that I had was on religion. Now, me and Rita here are both ministers. And, uh, we can, I, at least I consider myself essentially, uh, Christian-based, uh, Buddhist. Uh, kind of a cross between both. Uh, Aries, I think, considers herself Christian through and through. Yes, Christian so. through and through, even though I dislike certain religions like Mormonism and uh, well, Jehovah Witnessism and uh, Catholicism and uh, I really not and, get into and, and, and Muslim uh, Islamism. So. Yeah, well, that's your choice. I, I don't, I I don't, di I I don't dislike anybody's faith at all. No, I said I dislike them. But I don't hate them. Like most people say, well, I hate this or hate that because it's not that. Uh, I, I just like them. I just figure that each person needs their own faith and they need to find what's important <laughs> to them. And uh, so there's a couple different aspects on my religious viewpoints that I, I was thinking about talking about. And today um, I, I was thinking about... Uh, how to talk to other people about religion. It's usually one of those things that you do not want to bring up as a or topic politics. To uh, usually when you get talking about religion and religious beliefs, it, it gets into cramming things down people's throats and demanding that you're right and telling people they're wrong and telling others they're dang to hell and uh, or saying that they're not loved by God or something like that. And Unfortunately, I don't think that's the way to really get a message across to people. Uh, almost every single religion throughout the world has the same moral structure. The same. I, I'm sorry, it doesn't matter which religion. Yes, thou uh, shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not... Uh, I, I've seen morons out there who will take the Koran and rip it apart saying all it talks about is killing, death, destruction, rape, and uh, sodomizing children. And unfortunately, I have not seen that while reading the Koran, because I have read the Koran, because, heck, how can you speak bad about something if you've never read it yourself? Don't forget, I've read just, it too. Just saying that you know these things to be true and quoting things, a lot of times quotes are taken out of context. I mean, even, our, uh, even the Christian Bible has a lot of death, destruction, hatred, and anger, and it even talks about some bad things. Um... However, usually it's not in a bad way as saying, go and do it. Um, 
you know, uh, there's rape in the Bible, you know, there's murder in the Bible. Uh, it doesn't say to go do that stuff, but if you take it out of context, it could make, uh, sound like that's what it says, though. So I, I don't want to go into I'd like to apart speak, the Quran, but. I'd like to speak on something, too, talking about religion. It's somewhat a joke and not a joke. It, I'm, a, I'm a scholar in the Bible, so... 1631, a guy got fined 1,000 pounds. The printer, by the way, for the King James Bible, when he made the, the, um, the, uh, the, the sin Bible, as they call it, because it said, thou shalt commit adultery, and so thou shalt steal, stuff like that. And, yeah, that well, kind of seemed And, uh, the printer got in trouble for it because, you know, etc. So, you know, you just gotta look for it. That's that, one of the rare Bibles out there today. And a lot of people actually will quote the Satanic Bible, which was actually just a big joke to try to piss people off. Piss off the but Catholic Church. They'll quote the Satanic Bible as the Christian Bible, and they won't be able to tell you the passage where it comes from, but they know it's in there. And no, it's not. It came from the Satanic Bible, but uh, it still seemed to have a good message um, or one that people like, like an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Uh, shall be the whole of the law. Uh, that was not in the Bible, even though there was a section that was very close to, it was not the same quote. Um, I, I, I think it was actually an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth shall not be the way. Uh, in other words, don't do it. Whereas the Satanic Bible says... Jesus do it. said, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, is what he said. But then Jesus talks about something else. The Old Testament says... An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, flesh burning for flesh burning. But it does say, I believe, not to do it. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I'm not like full of the quotes and passage numbers in my head. I, I read everything. I, I read Buddhist scripture. I read uh, Hindi scripture. I read uh, the Quran, as I already mentioned. I've read the Book of Mormon. I've read the Christian Bible. I've read various different versions of the Christian Bible, including uh, translations from the ancient Greek and ancient Aramaic, which Rita has too. Uh, I've actually looked through the old scrolls, even though I can't read the writing because I don't know the language. But it's kind of neat to look at it well, anyway. I wanted to say something about that. There was a guy, that Aaron, being a sweetheart that he is, i got to tell the story real quick. He basically shooed a Jehovah Witness off. And the Jehovah Witness says, he sat down, he actually opened up the Greek scriptures, and he can tell you exactly where it says Yahweh or uh, Jehovah in the uh, Greek scriptures right there in the scrolls. And I thought... Well, you know, actually, it says YHWH, and that was a mistranslation by William Tinsdale where he meant to continue writing it out, but he didn't continue writing it out. And some... Bible translators in uh, the seventh was it 1600s I believe I think it was about 1670 it might have been 1570 they were German Bible translators 1570 yes. I think it was 1570 yes it was after Tyndale and they didn't know how to pronounce the word and they pronounced it Jehovah and they figured that that's the way it's written even though it was an abbreviation for Yahweh yeah well. so um that's where the word came from, and we actually got in a couple debates with him over whether it came that uh, from Jehovah or not, and whether Jehovah was the original word. Uh, it wasn't. Um, um, yeah, I even pulled up. I, I don't want to get into that because here, here's what I'm trying to make. the The point of this entire thing is that I, I'm I, I want to talk about how to which we haven't even gotten a chance to talk about. So it definitely will be a multi parter. But uh, I wanted to talk about how to basically minister to another person without ever bringing up religion because those moral stories are the types of things that can change a person's life. Yes, faith is important, but some people choose not to have any whatsoever. And instead of them being lost souls, the stories can still have meaning to them if given in a proper way. And... It doesn't cause the stress of having to speak on the aspects of religion or say, you must accept Christ in your life. I, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, in some ways I believe that, but in some ways I don't. But that's my own notions and ideas and thoughts. And maybe one day we'll talk about those too. 
um, since we're on this religious talk. And uh, But anyways, that's all I wanted to say for today. We'll continue this tomorrow because, uh, 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 frankly, uh, we're running out of time here, and I know that it'll take a lot longer. So, Rita, you got anything to add? No, just basically, you know, there is ways of ministering uh, to uh, religion without saying religion to make people, you know, uh, like you. I mean, for example, uh, before I go, because we're running out of time, I subscribed to a girl last night, African American, and she was talking about having visions of how certain things talks about fairies, presidents, she's talked in dreams and stuff, and in the end she says... If you haven't, go and uh, accept Christ today and be baptized and blah, blah, blah. Well, many people have heard that over the centuries. And you know what? We shouldn't be ramming it down our throat. If you found religion, fine. If you haven't found religion, found it, fine. That's no big deal in my it, opinion. And the reason I bring this up is we all have that friend where we're talking to them on one day and they say something like, uh, you know, I, I don't know what to do on this situation. And you can say... Well, you know, the Bible has a similar situation. And as soon as they hear the word Bible, their ears shut off. And they are not going to hear a single word you say from that point until they think that you're done. Or they'll just be like, I'm not talking to you about religion. I'm not hearing it. Leave it alone. We're not going there. So I, I think that it's important sometimes because it's true. There are some people who just don't want to hear it. So anyways, that that's all. So... Yes, please add and subscribe if you like. Please post comments in the box if you like. And please add me and him as a friend if you like. Thank yes, you thank and have you a nice for watching. day.